What's going on guys? <clears throat> Today I'm gonna just gonna make a quick video demonstrating and teaching y'all how to would you like to save yes how to add the climate controls on your on your um on your screen. Yeah, I made a video before on on this screen, how to on the installation of this screen. And um I think it was called one of the best, uh, the cheapest, best upgrades due to your to your Excel truck. Because mine came with a small screen. I don't even know if it even had a sink. But, I mean, I just put this on. Put this screen on. And I'm missing the climate controls. And it's been over like, over four months now. So I can I can just use these buttons right here, these two buttons, but I mean no biggie, right? But now that the now now that we're getting closer to winter, um I wanna I wanna have it actually on the screen and I mean manage the the cold and hot because as you can see right here, I mess with this and nothing moves. It turns on. It turns on but it doesn't it doesn't um sh how do you say it? it doesn't show it up on the screen so yeah so today i'm going to be showing you how to use forescan and um be able to program to have the settings and the controls right here on the screen and not be over here struggling like me um should have i should have done this a long time ago but uh you know lazy but yeah um finally we're gonna do it and actually one of the reasons why i'm gonna do it now is because i got tired of this little screen already and i think i'm gonna do that dual screen with the with the ipad down here so it's gonna delete it's gonna delete all this right here as you can see it's gonna delete all that and um um, you have to buy the you have to buy the the control panel from retro customs I think for like three hundred dollars plus the iPad for another three hundred I think and it's gonna slip in there you can have all your apps all sorts of apps in general and I mean that's what I want because this this screen right here doesn't really have any apps at all and that's what I wanted but yeah so yeah, that's the plan. I'll keep y'all updated on that. But for now, I'm gonna teach y'all how to use this four scan thing. It ain't too hard. I got my laptop right here. Uh, nothing special. It's the, it's the laptop I got from from college. I think it's called the ThinkPad. And yeah, and the actual the actual. Um, oh fuck. sorry guys, I don't have flash right now, but down here where the OBD2 goes is where I have my force can, um, <laughs> um, module connector thing, OBD2, I guess you can say, but yeah, it, con it connects to your, to your laptop. And it took me a while to, to connect it, but yeah, you have to mess around with it. I think it costs like 10 bucks for for getting the membership of Forescan. Or you can get it for free. I don't know, but I, I bought it for 10 bucks. So, I mean, for a year membership license thing. And yeah, let's get started, guys. We're going to head over to... Um, let's see if I remember. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I was having trouble getting the code for the license, but um, I got everything situated. So now, so now we're gonna connect the OBD2, and we're gonna go right here, connect, and then. All right, guys. So you're gonna get these messages right here. Uh, checking Bluetooth, checking Wi-Fi, checking all of that. 
until a uh, connection is finally established. And then you're gonna get this message right here. But you're gonna click yes. And you're all set. It's gonna read all the all the modules of the truck. What the hell is this right here? Switch. Yes. We're gonna set it to MS can. A little switch. And then press OK. And we're set. So then we're going to go to we're going to go to um, this little this little thing right here. And then APIM as built format as built format yes you're gonna put the little play button switch it back to HS <clears throat> Alright guys, so I had to do I had to do this again because my truck was about to die. So let's go ahead and do this again before it dies again. Hopefully it doesn't. But yeah, let's go to here. Um, APMI. to HS again okay it's gonna say it is not safe we're gonna press OK because we know it's not safe these numbers are gonna be changed to 0403 and 0204 on this on these codes right here at the configuration programming uh, APIM module configuration as as built format so we're gonna write it it's gonna say incorrect chism but we're gonna go ahead and click yes please cycle the ignition off and then back on and we should have the climate controls now hopefully if we didn't fuck up Nope. Um, something's not right. So it did not work, I'm guessing. Huh. Let me check this out. Alright guys, there you go. <laughs> I guess I had to I guess I had to turn the key like three times, a couple times. Um yeah, I think it was like three times and there it is, climate control. And it should work. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. So we're good. Yeah. We're good on that. AC off. 
and it turns off yeah so we're ready to to slap on that um, iPad with that retro custom um, panel and, and we should be good these are the codes right here just in case you want to know I mean just these two but you're gonna change these two right here because the other ones are probably different and yeah that's pretty much it guys um after that I think you just um, come back here and disconnect save yeah I think we're supposed to save it service procedure completed successfully okay come back to this and we can successfully disconnect disconnected let me try it again. In case you want to see my my old truck I used to have pretty nice huh alright let's check it out there you go Perfect. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching and like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Appreciate the, the support.